DJI is a drone company that's also making cameras these days. GoPro is a camera company, but they're also making drones. We're going to pit DJI's latest, its cheapest and tiniest drone, the Spark, up against GoPro's drone, the Karma, and we're going to use them to capture all the action of parkour. The Spark is so small that it can even take off right from your hand. While I'm learning my first jumps, the Spark is recording on an HD camera. It doesn't have the 4K resolution the GoPro has, but DJI has had to downsize some features to fit them on this little drone. Despite that, the footage looks pretty good and the baby drone captures all the action when someone's piloting it. Switch to the Spark's auto tracking feature and it follows me when I move slowly, but when the parkour pace picks up, the drone lags behind. Yeah, it's lost him. Yeah, he can't. Now, you can also control the Spark with hand gestures, if you can memorize them all. For a selfie, beyond an arm's reach, make a square with your fingers. DJI's mini drone costs 500 bucks, and GoPro's Karma, 1100. GoPro's edge over the Spark is its three-way gimbal, which stabilizes the camera. So when flights get rough, the video shouldn't look shaky. The Karma doesn't have the tracking or gesture control the Spark has. But what GoPro has really done here is build a drone around its camera. That big price tag gets you the camera, drone, a remote control, as well as a high-tech selfie stick. Where all drones fall short is battery life. The most you can get out of the Karma is 20 minutes. The Spark, just 16. Well, you can't learn parkour in just one day, but you can get to know these two drones very well. In spite of the turbulence that GoPro's Karma hit when it first came out, it had a major recall. Now, if you're a GoPro enthusiast, you can use that little camera all on its own, pop it on their self-stabilizing stick, or just use it on this drone without having to worry about it crashing out of the sky. But DJI Spark is lowering the barriers for people to buy their very first drone. Its compact size, its less expensive price, and its automated features will likely entice a whole new wave of pilots to take off.